What is your biggest fear? That I might freeze to death because they're going to cut my pie off. There have been seven winter-related deaths in Cuyahoga County since February 1st. The medical examiner says most of these deaths involved older residents who died due to lack of heat. Thousands of our neighbors are in crisis this winter, struggling to pay the utility bills amid the pandemic. To make a difference, WKYC Studios came up with an idea to keep the lights on for our community. 3 News investigator Rachel Polanski is leading the effort. Good evening. I am so excited to announce the launch of our Keep the Lights On campaign. We're working with CHN Housing Partners to raise money for our neighbors who are struggling to pay their utility bills amid the pandemic. And you, our viewers, can help. As his bills began to stack up, so did his worries. What's in my hand is bills that are shortly getting ready to shut off. Cleveland resident and Army veteran Terrence DeWalt is one of nearly 15,000 Northeast Ohioans who applied for assistance since the start of the pandemic. I have no income coming in, and I'm not getting help, any help from any of these services. While local nonprofits like CHN have given out $12 million to 5,500 applicants, the reality is the demand for help far outweighs the available funding. We're seeing an unprecedented need during this crisis, and, and it's a different need than what we've seen before because of all the job loss that people have had. And CHN's executive director says this crisis is not just affecting low-income families, but also those who have never applied for assistance before. Um, the restaurant worker at your favorite restaurant that was otherwise had reduced hours or the restaurant closed. That, uh, that single mom who otherwise needed to take time off to be able to uh, care for her children uh, because her children weren't in school because the schools have been closed. These are the types of people that may not qualify for government assistance, but still need some help. And they're part of the reason why we launched our Keep the Lights On campaign. First, we only have a limit. We only have a certain pot of dollars um, that are provided by the government. And second, that those dollars are not as flexible as many people will need and don't cover our entire viewing area. Um, so what that allows for us to do is to fill those gaps within the system. You can head to keepthelightsoncle.org right now to donate, and every nickel we raise will go toward Northeast Ohioans facing utility shutoffs. All I'm doing now is asking for a little bit of assistance. And it's tough to get. So our neighbors like Terrence can breathe a little easier. And of course, our campaign will not solve the utility crisis. We know that, Russ. Our goal is to bring some short-term relief for those who really need it right now. Certainly. Let me ask you this. How will applicants be vetted to make sure that money is going to the right place? It's a great question, and that's exactly why we teamed up with CHN Housing Partners. They'll be doing the vetting to make sure that only those truly in need are getting help. So remind us how long the campaign is going to last and where people can donate. It's going to be a month-long campaign, and you can donate right now by going to keepthelightsoncle.org, and we encourage folks to do so, Russ. Okay. Rachel Polanski, thank you.